Hello everyone, welcome back to Developers and Coders Club of NIT Gartala. Today we will be discussing Code Forces Round 862's Problem C, which is please for a selfie. I guess you have already read the question, so let's directly come to the solution. Let's try to understand what question wanna say. So question is saying that we will be given with a parabola, okay, and we will be given with a line. That line will be y is equal to kx which means that it will pass through origin. We will be only given the slopes of that line and we have to find for each given parabola if there is any line which neither cuts or touch our parabola. Okay, so what will we do? Actually, we will be given with ax square plus bx plus c. This is our parabola and y is equal to kx. This is our line. So uh, first we will be given with these k, k values and then we will be given with a, b and c value and we have to find if there is any line from our k value that neither cuts or touch our parabola. So what will we do? See we know that if ax square plus bx plus c equal to mx then there will be a x which either cut or touch or basically it means that there will be a solution. So if we want that our line neither cut or touch our parabola, then we can say then this equation should have imaginary values. So we read in our previous classes that if there is a quad, uh, quadratic equation and we want that our quadratic equation have, should have imaginary values, then b square minus 4ac should be smaller than 0. Here b is here b is uh, b minus m so we will say b minus m b square minus 4 ac this should be smaller than 0 okay so let's solve this equation first so if we say b square minus 4 ac is smaller than 0 then it means sorry not this b minus m whole square minus 4 ac should be smaller than 0 here m is k which will be given so b minus k square minus 4 ac should be smaller than 0 means b minus k whole square should be smaller than 4 ac now see if first case let's see the first case if c will be negative if c is smaller than 0 then we can directly say that this will never be smaller than 0. It will be either equal to 0 or greater than 0. So our first case will be if c is smaller than 0, then we will directly say that there will no solution. There will be no solution for that parabola. Okay. But uh, if c is, is uh, c is greater than 0, then we will solve this equation. So b minus k whole square is smaller than 4ac. And we can say b minus k modulo should be smaller than 2 root ac. This is simple mathematics. And by this, uh, if we open this modulo, then we can say this should be something like this should be 2 root ac. This should be smaller than 2 root ac. And this should be greater than minus 2 root ac. Okay. And now we'll just simplify it and it will become something like this so this will go that side and k will be greater than b minus 2 root ac and it will be smaller than b plus 2 root ac so our k will lie in between this so for, uh, for each parabola we'll find if uh, we have any k which lies in this range okay so what will we do here First we will, let's see our code, so this is our code, okay, so let's see, here we are given with n and m, so this is our input, I guess you know how to take input, first we have to take n and m, then uh, this n will be number of k values which will be given and this m is number of parabola with, uh, on which we have to search okay so for first we will store all the k values in our array 
here we created the array and then we stored and then we sorted the array uh, this we did i will tell you why we sorted the array later so basically after uh, storing k values when we are storing abc at that time only we will not store we will directly output for each parabola so what will we do we will take input of abc and then uh, we will check the first condition that if c is smaller than or equal to 0 then we can directly say that there will be no solution why because uh, we already discussed that if c is smaller than 0 then b square minus 4 ac that will be always greater than or equal to 0 so in that case there will be no k uh, which do not touch or cut our parabola okay now second case if c is greater than 0 then we will create low and high this low is that uh, low b square uh, which we just written let me show you this is uh, this low is the low is b minus 2 root ac and the high is b plus 2 root ac okay let's see so this is b minus 2 root ac b plus 2 root ac and this min is our zero index and this is our last index so what will we do we will search in our array we will use binary search and this is why i sorted the array we sorted this array so that we can apply binary search because we will be given with so much of data and if uh, we wanna search properly then we have to use binary search so that we can minimize the time complexity so what will we do we will simply apply binary search which is we will start from min and max min will be zero and max will be last index and we'll search on mid index if it will lie in the uh, our required range then we'll say that we have that array and we will print out but if it will not lie inside our range if it will be low and high we'll basically apply a simple uh, binary search and then later we'll output the final if there will be uh, see here one more case i included that uh, assume we did uh, search and we came out with someone something which is not lying in our means uh, something which is not inside our k okay then this is just for safety that i applied this last equation uh, this last condition so that if there will be any error we can directly check this one and this will give our final answer so this was our code and let's now test if it's working properly or not so this is i have already stored everything test and expected let's see if it's working or not okay so test case passed it's working properly you can see this is expected and this is received thank you for watching